People move to Detroit and then regret moving to Detroit. Imagine that. You move to a city and then you didn't do enough research and then you regret doing it. Why did we come here again? Seems to me if you're gonna move to a city, you should probably do a little research on that city. That is why I'm making this video. These are the top 10 reasons people regret moving to the city of Detroit. So let's get into this list. In at number one is the smell of Detroit. I don't know what it is, but the city of Detroit just has like a funky smell to it. it smell like cabbage. If you visit the city, you will know exactly what I'm saying. It's just like sometimes it's all right, and then other times it just has like a, I don't know, like a funky smell. I don't, there's no other way to really describe it. If you know what that smell is, let me know in the comments. Let everyone know in the comments. We would all love to know. Next thing on the list are the schools in Detroit. The schools, I, like if you, You've got to do some research on the schools. A lot of times people will move here, they're all excited to move to the city, um, and they don't really look into the whole school situation. So you should probably look at the private schools and the public schools and sort of like weigh your options because in the future, if you don't have kids now, if you have kids in the future, you might want to know a little bit about the schools. This regret people have about moving to Detroit is the whole transportation situation transportation situation. Detroit is a city of cars. It's the motor city. They do not have very good public transportation unless you wanna like ride the people mover and uh, just take an Uber everywhere. Yeah, no, no, I'm not, I'm not your Uber, I'm not your ride. So if you're moving here from a city like Chicago or New York, do not expect like a subway system or like an efficient way to get around because it's not gonna happen. You gotta rely on the cars. The ironic thing about this is Insurance for cars in the city of Detroit is ridiculous. I think it has something to do with uh, auto theft, but uh, it's expensive to insure your car in Detroit. That could be a whole other thing right there. People are surprised about insurance. The next regret people have about moving to the city of Detroit is all of the abandoned buildings and blight. You gotta fight for your blight. Fight the blight. Detroit has a lot of abandoned buildings and a lot of blight. So like, you know, abandoned homes, lots of graffiti, overgrown yards, things like that. You just like, you know, it's cool if you're an urban explorer and you're just posting it on the gram, you're just doing it for the gram, but it's not cool when it's your next door neighbor. You move in, you're like, oh, that was cool when I saw it on Instagram, but not very cool now. Now the hope is that everything will eventually be renovated in Detroit and all beautiful, but that takes time. It doesn't happen overnight. Not even Dan Gilbert can change everything overnight. The next regret people have about moving to Detroit is not understanding the taxes. The taxes in Detroit are ridiculous. They're some of the most expensive taxes in the state of Michigan. And it's even more expensive if you have a home as a non-primary resident. So if you're buying a home in Detroit and you want it to be like a rental, uh, your taxes are going to be crazy. I'll put a link below to the property tax estimator so you can sort of just figure it out on your own. Put in one half of the purchase price into the calculator and it'll spit out what your taxes will be for a primary residence and a non-primary residence. The one exception to this is if you get the NEZ taxes. Now the NEZ taxes are this long and complicated thing, but it's basically reduced rate taxes for certain areas and homes. So. We can dig all into that at another time, but like it's uh, that's like the one time your taxes are not super expensive, but it's for a limited time only. You don't get that forever. It's like for like 15 years max. The next regret people have about moving to the city of Detroit is not knowing that they will have inconsistent city services. And what I mean by that is your trash pickup, your street maintenance, the police coming when you call, the fire trucks coming when you call, the EMS, th like things that like, you know, you would expect to just happen because you're paying all those taxes. Like what are my taxes going for anyways? Taxes? I don't pay no damn taxes. I hate to be that person. But like, you know, you're paying a bunch of money in taxes, you expect to have all those things and like everything would just be great and it's not always great. That's, uh, it's the honest truth. The next regret people have in moving to Detroit is the weather. Now, I know I talk a lot about the weather on this channel, but like, it's not the weather channel. But seriously, the weather in Michigan is wild. It can be, it can be snowy and hail and then be sunny a few days later. And it's even more so in the city of Detroit because you have 
the, the, not the lake, it's a river. So you have the Detroit River right there. So you've got the river, so you've got sort of like a lake effect situation going. You know, you've got like the snow and everything coming off, coming off the river, and you have all the buildings. I mean, if you've ever walked in between buildings, if you've ever been in a big city, and that wind just cuts through, it's terrible. So I guess it depends on if you're gonna live downtown or sort of in the outskirts of Detroit. Hmm, the outskirts. But what I do know is people don't like it. They come here and they're like, what in the world is going on with the weather here? I told you, if you're working with me, I told you, for sure I told you. The next regret people have about moving to the city of Detroit is not understanding the road conditions. The roads are not good. They're not great in Michigan in general and they're especially not great in the city of Detroit, a lot of them. I mean, they might as well be dirt roads. I mean, the, the potholes are just so crazy. I mean, you, you, if you had a dirt bike, and people do ride dirt bikes sometimes around in the city of Detroit. You just, you never know. You never know what you're gonna see. Four wheelers, dirt bikes, who knows? Like the circus. The next thing on our list is the crime in Detroit. You know I've gotta talk about the crime a little bit. As a real estate agent, I can't say, you don't wanna buy a house there. You would need a helicopter to get home. I'm not allowed to say that. But what I can say is that you should probably pop on over to neighborhoodscout.com and type in the address and see what the website says about the neighborhood that you're thinking about moving to. Because I can't tell you not to live there, but I can tell you, you should do a little research like you're doing right now. Congratulations, you're a gold star. The next thing on our list is the lack of shopping, specifically Costco and Target. I love I like Costco. Costco. Costco's good. Everybody loves Costco. You know, I think like, that's one of the main questions I get asked. When people are moving here from out of state, like how far away is Costco? How far away is Trader Joe's? How far away is Target? Now developers are putting a small like mini Target in Midtown Detroit. Like that's like a project that's going on right now. But I feel like I need a full size Target. I want to wander around for an hour and buy a bunch of stuff that I didn't really need and then finish it off with a Starbucks. You know, all these black t-shirts. Target, love these things. Or like a whole drawer of them. So would any of that prevent you from buying a house in Detroit? If so, you should probably check out some of the other videos and playlists on my channel, and I'll see you there.